Hello Rune Terrans and MMO Junkers alike. Today I felt like doing something different. I'm going to make a super boring top 5 list of the MMOs I'm currently and hopefully going to play in the year 2023. Just kidding, it, it's going to be an awesome video, okay? Before we start, I need you to ask a little favor. Just two simple clicks on the like and subscribe button. This would help the channel a lot. No further wasting of your precious time, let's get to the point. First MMO I am definitely going to try out is... Diablo 4. Oh wait, it's not an actual MMO, but it certainly looks like one. Oh boy. I've been waiting on this title for ages. Although the developer situation worries me a bit, I'm 100% ready for this one. Everything Blizzard showed until now looks and sounds a lot like an MMO to me. There's an open world, there are dungeons inside of the world, cities, trading hubs, open world boss fights, open world PvP. Oh, and did I already mention open world? Well, in all eagerness, with a weird mix of waiting way too long for this game, I feel genuinely excited again. There is just one thing. No, actually two things. Did I already tell you about the developer situation? Okay, second thing. I just hope their monetization team will sit back and relax. Because I really don't want to see a Diablo immoral situation. Listen Blizzard, I have drawn a very tight barrier in my head. If they pass that tiny little imaginary barrier with just one pay to win element, I'm going to uninstall the game immediately and dedicate my channel to bash this game into the ground. Well, that's all I had to say about Diablo 4. Next MMO that sparked my attention is Wayfinder. Okay, okay, before you start to rage at me, again, it's not a real MMORPG without real character customization and gender identity. It is basically a hero shooter, but then without shooting. Tackling dungeons and raids, loot and progress together with the ability to meet up in social hubs. But I am again genuinely excited for this game. Wayfinder is created by Airship Syndicate, the creators of the recent Ruined King game. If you are new to the channel, I love Riot's IP in collaboration with the creatives from Warframe Digital Extremes. I really love the art style of this game and Airship Syndicate proved already that they are able to create positively reviewed games especially on Steam. If you want to learn more about this game, I have a link in the video description down below. Okay, next up we delve in real MMORPG territory. Blue Protocol has been on my radar for many years, until the devs went radio silence and I completely forgot that this game even existed. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, the latest trailer at the Game Awards 2022 happened. Apparently, it had a successful release in Japan in 2022, with Bandai Namco finally dipping its toes into the genre, partnering with Amazon Games, which is, in my opinion, a good sign, given the kind of, let's call it, success of New World. The cel-shaded graphics are looking beautiful, and for me, it feels like Genshin Impact meets an MMO. Four classes, will Will be available from launch which is in my opinion mediocre not too excited about that but overall i'm very happy that bandai namco is supporting this release together with amazon games at least these game publishers are not known to be super harsh on monetization i i mean yet please god don't jinx it next up we have ashes of endless development time and creation this game will never come out, so up to the next, Throne and Liberty. Originally introduced as Lineage Eternal back in 2011, yes this game is old, before being renamed to Project TL. Throne and Liberty is the current working name for NCSoft's upcoming MMORPG. This game is definitely on my radar for 2023. Just a few days ago, the developer released a director's cut of the game, which in my humble opinion doesn't show a lot, just some dynamic systems that influence the areas with monsters, the ability to traverse the map while flying as a bird, a little bit of combat was shown, you can wear almost any weapon, which heavily changes your combat style and skills, which you can mix and match to fit your playstyle. Honestly, I'm expecting this to be a good game, but I'm very skeptical about the monetization. So let's keep our fingers crossed it's not a Korean style monetization scheme. And last but not least, it's a bit of a blind guess, but I do hope we see a release for Hightail 
in 2023. Hytale is the spiritual successor of Minecraft. While I didn't play a lot of Minecraft myself, I do like the idea of Hytale, an open sandbox style MMO with a much faster paced combat system. See it as a Minecraft style MMO with a big emphasis on player generated content. Okay, so to end the video, I want to know which MMO you are going to play in 2023. Let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this style of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.